Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 6, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Brought to you by Go16 and Gong satellite imagery. Huge plasma filaments surrounding active sunspot region turning in. No major solar flares to report. They've been in the C range for the past two days. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see those prominences dancing across the surface of the sun, the plasma filaments, the black lines, and as well, active fiery sunspot grouping. Black hole turning away on the left-hand side. This is outgoing imagery, a little earth to scale. Really missing the Solar Dynamics Observatory imagery, but this is pretty cool imagery as well. And thank you so much for tuning in right now. If you enjoy all of this information shared with Daily Events Worldwide, give a thumbs up and share with somebody else who might want to stay aware and prepared. Active sunspot region, Earth facing, as well as coronal holes. So we are under a space weather watch. Having a look, 171 angstroms, you can see coronal holes right there. Darkened, blackened, cooled regions on the sun. 131 angstroms here. This is showing the last three hours of imagery, or sorry, 12 hours of imagery. And as well, here are our sunspot regions as there are seven Earth facing. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected to high frequency radio. Solar winds are coming in at 385 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, showing minor M-class solar flare this morning. And then static C-class range. Solar proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity is low as well. Next geomagnetic event expected here with the Space Weather Prediction Center, 7th into the 8th, minor geomagnetic instability. Other than that, no major coronal mass ejections have been thwarted our way. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing outgoing CME, and as well, quite the conglomerate of planets right now going through Mercury retrograde. As forewarned, a week, almost two weeks ago, Increased seismicity did ensue from the Mercury retrograde. Having a look at Lasco 2, showing the last two days of space weather leaving our sun. Some notable ejections from the north and as well on the backside. And cresting into view from the most recent M-class solar flares. Tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow's. Not too much to look at over the next couple nights. As I said, minor geomagnetic instability. Now let's have a look at earthquakes the past 24 hours. As the earthquake situation in California, off the coast of California, is still going on. Multiple aftershocks. Petrolia, California, off the coast of Eureka. Right now, USGS is reporting 374 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. 137 of them have been here off the coast and they're already taking away earthquakes that occurred 24 hours ago. Minor seismicity still building at Yellowstone and moving northwest towards the Pacific Northwest Cascade region. Notable earthquake there, Cooter, Missouri, and as well Hill City, Kansas, 2.4. Notable activity, Puerto Rico as well. Bermuda, and Alaska. Minor seismicity at best, but still, we're sitting at just under 400 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Largest being the 7.0 magnitude earthquake striking California yesterday, prompting tsunami warnings, but quickly lifted thereafter. 561 kilometer depth, 4.6. That's the deepest last 24 hours. And as well, Gorontolo, Indonesia, 5.5 earthquake, south of the Philippines, 
4.4 there, close to Krakatoa. Notable deep earthquake, Atacama, Chile, and as well a 4.9 and Pacific, East Pacific rise. Heads up, everybody, just stay safe out there. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, have a plan and be ready. That's what this is all about. We're showing here the last seven days for shakers and boomers, movers across the planet. And I'm really surprised we didn't see a tsunami from that large earthquake yesterday, considering where it was. The beginning of the Juan de Puca plate, Gorda fracture zone. Heads up, I don't think this is done, especially if we're seeing more activity right on the opposite side of the planet in Arabia, Iran. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by all of our erupting volcanoes across the world. Notable here, Hawaii, Kamchatka, Alaska, and Mexico. And most of the northern hemisphere has been enveloped with this sulfur dioxide emissions from the eruption at the Iceland volcano last week. Tenth time in the last eight months. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Africa, pretty big plume coming out of central regions of Africa as well India and China. A big plume coming out of the Mediterranean from Mount Etna eruption. And as well, notable SO2 plumes coming out of the North Atlantic and Colombia. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. Winter weather all across Eastern Canada forecast here for the next few days. Multiple low pressure systems, so expect a lot of moisture with this cold air that is funneling around. You've seen the polar vortex I showed you days ago. Not much has changed. It is extremely strong and prevalent. Having a look here, long range forecast, multiple low pressure systems coming into the West Coast. Watch for an extreme weather event here through central regions, United States, and as well through California. Some big systems in the long range moving towards you. And as well, the BC coast for the long range atmospheric river in both the North Atlantic and North Pacific. Lots of moisture in the north right now. Lots of cloud cover too. Gee, I wonder why. 70 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Huge system here affecting Ireland and the United Kingdom over the next 24 hours. It is on your doorstep right now, Ireland. Strong winds, rain associated, and snow on the backside of this system. As you've got a, well, that's a North Atlantic high right behind you. So it will continue to be rain until the next few systems that come on through, like the one that's going to bring blizzard-like conditions to Iceland. December 11th into the 12th. And that long-range forecast, as I said, atmospheric river of moisture heading towards the all of Europe this week, mostly northern France and northward. Lots of moisture heading your way. Extreme weather events unfolding across our, our planet. Peculiar and devastating events have occurred over the past five years since I started reporting. The frequency and levels seem to be increasing. Got a cyclone heading towards northern Madagascar by the 13th. And as well, some strong systems here could develop into typhoon conditions for the Philippines. And as well, cyclone conditions for southern parts of India in this long-range forecast. Leafy here looking at the North Pacific. Looking at at least 13 low-pressure systems that will be affecting Alaska and the BC coastline over the next 10 days. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay safe and healthy out there. And please don't forget to show you care. With a thumbs up, comment where you're watching from. Maybe share with a friend or family member that you would like to stay aware and prepared. And again, good night. Thank you so much for watching. Hashtag no fear here. Just Stay young and have fun.